Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have the, the great pleasure uh, to present you uh, a small study uh, about uh, the diphtheria. And uh, as you can hear, uh, my English spoken has not been improved since, since uh, yesterday. <laughs> well, a um, few words uh, about uh, the history. Uh, this disease, the diphtheria, uh, was described uh, a long time ago from the ancient Greek. And uh, uh, they, they say that uh, uh, the, this disease uh, is presented, uh, clinically presented like uh, uh, a leather, uh, because the skin is like leather. And a uh, uh, few centuries later, uh, there is uh, 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 a new epidemic of diphtheria in Spain. And uh, uh, as you will see uh, later, uh, it's uh, uh, breaking the breast. And it's a, the, the, the reason why they, they told that the disease uh, is uh, uh, like a strangulation. At the end of the 19th century, uh, Edwin uh, Klebs uh, identified the bacterium. And uh, a few years later, uh, we uh, can get an immunization of the guinea pig with uh, uh, it treated, um, it treated uh, diphtheria toxin. Um, during the uh, 20th century, after uh, the First World War, uh, between uh, 100,000 to 200,000 uh, cases uh, in USA were identified. And this disease is very uh, close uh, uh, to uh, poverty. And uh, uh, the increase of the, the, the prevalence of this disease is very linked to, to this kind of poverty. Uh, and uh, um, it's confirmed uh, that during the Second World War in uh, Europe, uh, more than one million of cases were identified uh, because uh, there is uh, not uh, enough uh, to eat and uh, uh, also uh, not enough health care. And uh, it's conducted to uh, around uh, 50,000 uh, deaths. After uh, the Second World War, uh, there is a, a very big uh, problem, big mistake, because uh, uh, almost 70 children uh, died after the diphtheria, the diphtheria immunization uh, because of improper aluminum phosphate toxin. 20 years ago, uh, after uh, the uh, collapse of the um, uh, Russian uh, empire, uh, because of the increase of, again, the poverty, uh, more than uh, 40,000 uh, cases uh, appears in the uh, new uh, Russian uh, Federation. Uh, today, a few years ago, uh, 2010, after the earthquake, uh, a few cases were identified uh, via diagnosis in Port-au-Prince. And two years ago, we are uh, again a few uh, cases uh, identified in the sub-Saharan African, in India and Indonesia. And uh, uh, today, we have around uh, almost uh, 40,000 cases uh, all over the world. A um, few words uh, about the clinical symptoms uh, of this uh, disease. Uh, it's caused by Cholera bacterium diphtheriae. And uh, uh, today, uh, we have, uh, uh, without treatment, uh, uh, around uh, uh, 5 to 10 percent of the uh, people who this. Uh, the symptoms are different. Uh, they can go to mild to severe, mild uh, like a sore throat, and uh, more severe with a high fever, uh, the coup, and uh, also uh, always uh, blocking airways. And there are also few uh, side effects uh, of this disease, uh, like uh, a neurological disease, uh, uh, kidney, uh, and uh, also uh, heart disease like uh, myocarditis. Um, there are few uh, routes uh, of contamination. Uh, the first one, uh, the most frequent, is uh, direct contact. Uh, the second one is uh, uh, through the hair, uh, during coups, for example, and uh, also uh, by object uh, contaminated. Um, the mechanism of the disease, uh, 
uh, is uh, uh, explained by the uh, diphtheria toxin, uh, which is binding to the cell surface. Uh, and uh, secondly, uh, there is an internalization of this toxin. And uh, uh, finally, an inhibition of synthesis of the new proteins by the cell. Uh, the aim of the study uh, was to uh, assess uh, the prevalence of the diphtheria, diphtheria vaccination uh, among uh, a population of workers. And uh, uh, the, 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 the goal uh, was to uh, take into account uh, uh, different groups uh, of uh, uh, workers uh, with uh, uh, the three risks uh, to be uh, contaminated during their work, the high risk to be contaminated, medium risk, and low risk to be contaminated. <coughs> the methodology uh, for the people who were there uh, yesterday was the same that the study we made uh, for the hepatitis B. Um, uh, it was conducted uh, uh, among a uh, miscellaneous mis population of uh, uh, French workers. It was a cross-sectional study, and all the workers were recruited uh, during their uh, uh, two years medical examination, uh, occupational medical examination paid by the uh, employer uh, in France. It's a, a very uh, French, French uh, situation. Uh, the methodology, it's a, a very uh, large uh, population with a lot of uh, different jobs, uh, like uh, housemates, police officers, technicians, and so on. And uh, all these jobs were uh, separated in the three classes uh, of uh, risk uh, exposure to be contaminated uh, by uh, diphtheria. Uh, in the uh, group of the high risk, uh, we can find obviously uh, the healthcare workers uh, or the, the workers who are exposed to uh, some uh, waste uh, and uh, trash. In the second group, uh, with the medium risk to be exposed, uh, you have the police officers. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, in France, we have uh, some uh, people uh, who came from the uh, East Europa, uh, essentially uh, Russia, uh, where there is uh, 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 quite a high uh, uh, incidence of this disease, uh, and uh, uh, they can be uh, contaminated when they uh, take them to go for the, to the jail, for example. Uh, and uh, in the uh, third group, uh, with the uh, low risk to be uh, contaminated, you find, uh, for example, the administrative agents. Uh, the uh, data were obtained uh, during the, 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 the bicentennial medical examination, and uh, they were obtained from uh, essentially uh, the uh, medical occupational file and a special questionnaire, and also a uh, few of the data were uh, get from the um, personal file. Uh, results, uh, uh, this quite uh, large uh, population uh, uh, could be a representative of the French uh, working population with a lot of different uh, jobs, uh, and uh, including uh, uh, around uh, 3,000 workers. Um, on this uh, first uh, uh, table, uh, it concerns uh, the population with a high occupational risk exposure, uh, if you remember, uh, for example, uh, healthcare workers. And uh, um, the population were vaccinated. Uh, it's only a little bit uh, than the half of the population. Uh, and the, the two other groups, uh, uh, you have the non-vaccinated. Uh, non-vaccinated, uh, in fact, it's mean uh, with the um, actual French legislation, it's not, not vaccinated. Uh, since uh, uh, for, for the uh, last 20 years, not vaccinated for the last 20 years, uh, not vaccinated, and uh, unknown uh, status is almost the same. Uh, it's uh, uh, all the, 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 the two groups, it's almost half of the population. We can consider that unknown status is quite the equivalent of non vaccinated uh, person. It's quite a, a high level for. Uh, the uh, high-risk occupational group. Uh, on the table two, it concerns the medium uh, occupational risk exposure. Uh, for example, uh, in this group, you have the, the police officers. 
uh, and uh, uh, the uh, rate, the level of the vaccination is uh, almost the same with the half of population and uh, uh, the other half of the population which is shared between non-vaccinated and non statue and we consider that they are probably uh, non-vaccinated uh, for the last uh, 20 uh, years. And uh, uh, finally, uh, for the uh, third group, uh, with uh, a low capacity risk exposure, uh, uh, which this group which included um, uh, administrative workers, uh, uh, the results are not really very different uh, uh, compared uh, to uh, the precedent one, with uh, uh, around uh, half uh, of the people uh, were vaccinated and uh, quite the other half uh, who were uh, non vaccinated or with an uh, unknown uh, status. Um, there is a significant vaccination gap, again diphtheria, uh, underlined by the fact that uh, there is no difference uh, with uh, uh, risk, uh, occupational risk group exposure, no real difference be between the, the, the three groups, with only half of the population is the three groups. We have known or unknown vaccination against uh, diphtheria. Uh, <coughs> Uh, we confirm that the level of vaccination is really independent of the occupational risk exposure, uh, which is a, a real problem uh, for the uh, occupational medical doctors and also, also uh, nurses. Um, it seems uh, important uh, to boost uh, vaccination coverage against diphtheria uh, for all the workers. And uh, uh, again, uh, like uh, we uh, identified it, uh, uh, when we study um, the uh, hepatitis B, uh, we have uh, no uh, few uh, groups uh, in uh, uh, the French population. Uh, we, they, they are against uh, the vaccination because uh, they think that uh, um, vaccination has a, a lot of side effects, and uh, um, uh, including the boosters. Uh, and they say that for this kind of disease, uh, uh, there is uh, therapeutic, like uh, antibiotics, and uh, it's uh, uh, better uh, to treat, uh, to treat uh, people uh, if they are uh, victims of this disease, and they prefer to do that uh, than uh, vaccination. And it's uh, very uh, difficult uh, to uh, explain that uh, vaccination is better uh, than to treat uh, the uh, disease uh, finally. And in conclusion, uh, the goal uh, should be uh, to obtain uh, quite a large coverage, and uh, there is a, 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 a big job, a big, big thing, a lot of things to do uh, to obtain a, a high rate uh, of uh, 90 percent of uh, workers, of all the workers. Uh, vaccinated because uh, uh, I think that it's, it, it, it should be uh, too difficult uh, to separate uh, the different group and to uh, focus uh, only on the high risk group and it's, it will be better uh, to uh, focus not on one group but on all the uh, workers because uh, uh, it's uh, um, vaccination uh, which is uh, uh, cheap and which is uh, easily uh, reasonable. Uh, we can make it uh, uh, easily uh, during the uh, uh, two years uh, medical occupational examination. And again, uh, employers are agree uh, to uh, pay uh, this uh, vaccination, uh, including uh, in uh, um, the uh, payment of the, uh, occupational uh, the occupational examination. Thank you very much for your attention.